Hello Pisces, welcome to your energy reading and this is for the first half of April. I'd like to welcome all new viewers to my channel, Pisces and seasoned viewers, welcome back. So let's see what the oracle cards have for us. Laughter, all right. Peace of mind. Body movement. All right, so make sure you get your exercise. Don't take things too seriously. And uh, what you're seeking is peace of mind. Okay. And then let's see what the tarot deck says for us, Pisces. Pisces, um, remember that this is a general reading. Take what resonates and drop the rest, okay? We are picking parts for recent parts. What sort of energies did you deal with in the recent past? And hard work, clarity, justice. Okay, I feel um, that your hard work has paid off. You have gained some clarity, but the thing is, a part of you is also trying to seek justice. And you may have judged um, people quite harshly in the process and um, you're encouraged not to take things too seriously to the point of uh, causing yourself distress okay Pisces let's see that's the recent past um, let's see what we have for the energies current energies for first half of April Okay, Pisces, I encourage you to check out my other channel for musings from the past, present and future. In that channel, I teach consciousness work, shadow work. If you want to grow spiritually, that would be the channel to check out. And I do live classes as well, okay? So details are below this video, so go check it out. We have Nine of Cups. Hmm. Two of Swords, nine of, nine of Cups, Knight of Swords. Let's see, Strength. Hmm. Okay, so you are encouraged to trust your intuition. You are getting comfortable in trusting your intuition. You are getting comfortable. And that's the energy that's coming in. And you're encouraged to... Trust in that, you know, further develop it because it can be your strength. Your intuitive sense is becoming your strength. Um, but you must um, show to yourself that you are trustworthy, you know, that you do trust your own uh, intuitive insights by getting into action, by, you know, whatever intuitive insights that you get. Follow up with, with action, right? so that you develop this <coughs> trust muscle, so to speak. So the more you practice, the more um, you are able to trust yourself in that sense. So it's really about um, trusting your inner, inner sense, your intuition. You're sharpening it. So whatever you're going through right now, and if you feel like you need to trust your intuition, practice doing it, okay? It can assist you tremendously in the decision-making process. We have two of pentacles. So you're trying to balance responsibilities. Ah, celebration. Anniversary coming up. <clears throat> Birthday coming up. Some of you getting married as well. And then, um, <laughs> and then there is a pause. You go into hermit mode. Um, things seem to come to a standstill, which is fine because it is to your advantage. It is coming to a standstill because you are weighing your, you are trusting your intuition, and then you are trying to balance that with your outer responsibilities. But you'll be rewarded because good things happen. Celebration, and then you pause, regroup. Okay, Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Can we have some clarity? Finish what you started. So whatever it is that you started, finish it up. Work with a team. Find people that you can work with. 
And whatever you're asking about is the truth. This one wants to fly out, so let's see. Laughter, another one. Not to take things too seriously. Two laughter cards so far. Okay. Let's pick some more oracle cards for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? It is a good month. Um, testing you on your... How much are you trusting yourself? How much are you trusting your intuition? Okay. Raise your standards. Leadership, set your goals. Yeah, leadership coming in. Follow your intuition. Hmm. Nice energy here coming up for you. Uh, you are really going into a phase where you're learning to trust. I mean, sometimes um, in the learning process, right, we all make mistakes and that's quite normal. And if you make a mistake, laugh about it. Twice, laughter came up, right? So not to take your mistakes too seriously. Um, develop the intuitive sense. Weigh your responsibilities. Take a break. <laughs> Go into hermit mode if necessary. And then start again. I feel like your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to have a, a lot more clarity. And um, yeah, things, things are working. You know, like the momentum is picking up. Things are moving in a way that is going to really um, take you further along your path. So if you're serious about personal development, spiritual growth, you are moving in the right direction. Okay, Pisces? <clears throat> you are definitely entering a new phase of development and growth, okay? So don't let any hiccups stop you. Just just, just move. <laughs> Keep on moving ahead. Okay, so if this message resonates, give me a like. Uh, comment below, please, and let me know how this reading is helping you. And um, subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you need more clarity about your personal journey, you can always book a private session. Details are all below this video. And I will see you again very soon, Pisces. Bye for now.